Hello, welcome to this DCS KA50 Black Shark tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about your laser warning system and your countermeasures. To begin, we have these controls bound with a UV26 start and stop dispensing for our flare start and stop, and also our laser warning system reset button. On the right, during startup, we set our countermeasures up as 427. That was because this first button corresponds to the number of sequences when we start dispensing our countermeasures. We can see it printed on the button. It has several different options. So normally when you cycle through it, it will just simply be the number of sequences that you have shown. If you are on any of these special options where it has parentheses, it will actually be that number of sequences in the parentheses. So if I had it on 5, it would be 12 sequences, and if I had it on 7, it would be 15. So I put that on 4. This next button down is the number of countermeasures dispersed in the sequence from each side. So here I have it set to two. So it'll fire two flares from each active side on each sequence. This last button is the interval between sequences. Similarly, in parentheses is a special option based on the number shown. So normally one second 2 second, 3 seconds, and so on. On 7, we can see it is a quarter of a second between sequences. And on 9, it is half a second between sequences. Putting this back to quantity shows the total number of flares we still have in our aircraft. The side switch shows which side we will be dispensing from either right, indicated by the right, and how many countermeasures are in our right-hand system, left, the same thing, or the center position for both. I like to leave it in the center. So here, if I hit start, we can see it as dispensing based on our programming. Two flares from each side, quarter of a second between them, repeated four times. If we are mid-dispense, we can hit stop, and it will stop the program. On the left-hand side here, we have our laser warning system. If we have a laser bounce off our aircraft, it will tell us the direction of where it is being fired from, and it will also tell us warning under attack. Say we had a laser directly in front of us hitting our aircraft, this top button would light up, or this top light would light up. If we were being lased from our left, 9 o'clock, the left would light up, and so on. If we were being lased from diagonally to our left, probably about oh, 10, 11 o'clock or so, both of these would light up. Same if we were being lased from our 7 or 8 o'clock or so, both of these would be lit up, both of those for the other way, and so on. One thing to note, after any of these light up and our system has warned us, we must press the reset button, which is why we have it bound. So easily pressed. And then it will be ready to warn us about new laser threats. I'll see real quickly if I can't get us to demonstrate that. Sometimes these targets over here will uh, try to engage with anti-take rockets that are laser guided. Sometimes they won't.
Not getting any rockets being trucked at us today. But if they were going to laze us, that indicator would light up and our helicopter would tell us, warning, under attack. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.